Aberfoyle. Situated right in the heart of the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park, this pretty little village has got some amazing scenery surrounding it. It's also got some fantastic wildlife and on today's little adventure we're going to have a look for this wee guy, the Red Squirrel. Red squirrels, sometimes referred to as the Eurasian Red Squirrel, are found all over Northern Europe and Siberia, and also here in Scotland. Populations of Red Squirrels have fallen dramatically here in the United Kingdom. This is mostly due to the introduction of the Eastern Grey Squirrel, which is originally from North America. Grey Squirrels also carry the Parapox virus, which doesn't harm them, but can be deadly to Red Squirrels. Here in Scotland, most Red Squirrels have red, orangey coats, but in other countries around the world, they can sometimes be white or even black in colour. So it's off again for another adventure with Daisy the Springer Spaniel to see if we can catch a glimpse of a red squirrel. I just hope she doesn't scare them away. Now squirrels are a very shy creature and because I've got Daisy with me today I'm going to put her on the lead. But I'm very lucky here in Aberfoyle that there's actually a wildlife hide specifically built for the squirrels, so fingers crossed we can get a good look. Fantastic, we've just arrived at the hide and there's a squirrel on the ground which is amazing. Now in this country all the squirrels, unfortunately when the babies, about 80% of them die during their first winter. They live around about seven years and they live in little nests called drays which are often located in holes and trees, sometimes created by woodpeckers. So these guys in front of me here, their bodies are round about the size of a coke can. They're super, super agile. They can hang upside down, they can run really, really fast, and also they're incredible climbers. They love eating seeds and nuts, particularly hazelnuts, and also berries. And any excess food they have, they bury it, and they're amazing at remembering where they've actually buried their food. Now in the winter time, red squirrels' coats get darker in colour and their ear tufts even grow longer. But these guys here need to be careful as well because they do have natural predators. These are things like pine martins, stoats, owls, buzzards, foxes, and sometimes on rare occasions even cats and dogs can attack them. Most of the red squirrels that are here in the United Kingdom are actually located in Scotland. Now some more fascinating facts. Red squirrels have two toes and four fingers on each of their paws. They're thought to have reached the British Isles via Europe around about 10,000 years ago, around about at the end of the last ice age. They don't actually hibernate in the winter. They eat all their supplies of nuts and seeds that they've buried during the summer months. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this little video on red squirrels for the Blair Baddock Bites feed. Remember, you can keep checking it out on Twitter and keep your eyes peeled later on during the week for some more fascinating videos coming from the rest of the team. Thanks for watching.